unfortunately it's just something that's going to be hard to control and uh, I think eventually it's going to probably lead to them being home. Changing the plan, starting tomorrow, Avon High School will temporarily move to e-learning. This after the school confirmed five COVID cases. News at Julia Dang has been tracking schools reopening plans and Julia, other districts also making changes as well. Yeah, Phil, it is happening nationwide. Here in Indiana, Rush County schools are using e-learning days today and tomorrow. For now, those changes in Avon only apply to one campus in the district, but we've learned four other Avon schools have confirmed COVID cases too. They gave us a call last night, I think. Richard yes. Rivera got the call he had prepared for after sending his three kids back to school. My wife works, I work. Amid a nationwide debate over how to safely reopen. The Avon Community School Corporation is scaling back in-person learning at Avon High School beginning Tuesday after five confirmed COVID cases among high school students and staff. Rivera's son is a 10th grader there. It's fun for them because they get to stay home. He and his classmates will be doing e-learning for the rest of the week and then two weeks of hybrid learning. Rivera worries about disrupting his son's education and says he's willing to pay for tutoring for all three of his kids. We have to reach out to tutors and other people that are teachers that we know to help fill that gap. His daughter is in fifth grade at Avon Intermediate School West. She'll continue attending in person. Her campus has one confirmed COVID case. The district also reported one case at Pine Tree Elementary, one at Hickory Elementary, and another at Avon Intermediate East. Of course it worries everybody. Linda Asdale has two grandchildren who attend Pine Tree. Despite her concern, she and the kid's mother, a nurse at IU West, hope Avon schools stay open. She really had no qualms about sending them back to school. Although the district vowed to have high school students back in classrooms full time August 31st, and no changes have been made at other Avon campuses, Rivera is preparing for district wide closures. We're all anticipating that. I think it's just a matter of time. And with no state mandated re reopening policy for schools, districts in Indiana can set their own threshold for how many positive cases would lead to closure. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, WishTV and WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.